All right, so now if we're given a fraction and we want to convert this fraction into a decimal, the only way that we have to convert our fraction into a decimal, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the only way to convert our fraction into our decimal is we're going to have to use long division. All right, and you're not going to have a calculator on you, so we're going to have to make sure we know the long division algorithm. 64 does not go into 27, so therefore we can create our decimal point. Once we create our decimal point, we create an unlimited bank of zeros. But we we'll only need to compute this um, to the hundredth. All right, so let's just do one zero at a time. So does 64 go into 270? Of course it does. How many times? Well, if you don't know, just add up multiples of 64. 64 plus 64, the next one would be 128, right? Add another 64 would be 192, right? Oh, no, yes. And then add another one, which would be 256. I can't add another 64, right? Correct. So therefore, this goes in there 1, 2, 3, 4 times. 4 times 64 is 256. Then I subtract the rows, which is going to give me 14. 64 does not go into 14, so I bring down another 0. And this is going to go into there two times. Again, we know we can keep on doing this, but we only need to go to our decimal version. So we have our fraction, our decimal, and then to go to our, to our decimal, we just need to multiply by 100, which, as you remember from scientific notation, we're just going to move it over. Yes, you will need to know how to convert from fraction decimal to percent. You'll need to know how to go from percent decimal to fraction. You'll need to know how to go from decimal to percent to fraction. Yes? That's my question. 